All right. Um, so for those of you who have been following um, the progress of this little project, this is now the final, hopefully, um, version of this. Um, this is the uh, Sony A7S basically, and this is the Ninja Blade, and I have installed this downscaler to get a um, 4K signal out of the Sony A7S, and of course because it was a lot of things, uh, as you needed to power the downscaler and also needed to power, well, uh, optionally power the uh, Sony A7S, because we, we said, as everyone knows, that the um, A7S has very bad um, uh, batteries, as in they don't last very long. Uh, so I needed to find a solution for that as well. Um, so basically this is the final setup and I will walk you through um, what I have done. If you visit the previous videos, there is details of each of these stages and uh, all the descriptions, but I will also add um, a description to this video and all the, uh, the bits that I have uh, put in here, the cables and everything, and links to them. So yeah, basically the idea <coughs> is getting the um, um, the 4K signal out of the A7S um, and uh, into the um, the downscaler. Yes, it's an HDMI 4K to 1080p downscaler, which gives us um, so much more detail out of the uh, of the camera uh, because it's using its full 4K sensor and then downscales it and then this downscales it basically back to 1080p preserving those details and then transferring that 1080p information into the uh, Ninja Blade which will record it into uh, ProRes HQ422 um, so basically um, okay we'll probably just demonstrate first or okay um, what you need here is this power bank to power the uh, the downscaler. The downscaler only needs 5 volts and this gives it just that. This is one of those uh, power banks basically that are used for uh, charging mobile phones and laptops and things like that. Actually this one for mobile phones, this one for laptops. Uh, the second one basically is powering the camera via a, uh, a coupler, a DC coupler, which also uh, transfers um, or adapts the uh, the power coming out of this um, to a 7.4 volts I think which continuously powers the uh, A7S and basically we have the uh, Ninja Blade here um, for um, external recording so now if we just a little demonstration to show you that everything is working Sorry. By the way, the way I I am keeping everything on here, obviously there are screws for these uh, big chunky bits, but for these two, for example, they are connected with, uh, they are kept in place with uh, a Velcro uh, stickers. And actually I'll show you one here. It's one of these guys. It's one of these. And I remember that because I I also put one of them on the um, on the landscape, which you can later put on here, so you don't lose it. I I tend to use lose mine, so I thought that's a that's an idea as well to to keep in mind. Okay, right. So yeah, <laughs> keep it there. <coughs> so turning on the camera. Oh, can't really turn it on if it's if it's not power. So turning on the power here first, and I don't know if I told you this yet, but leave it at nine volts because it has nine and twelve volts. I think twelve volts would be too powerful. Nine volts, and then the uh, the coupler will adapt it to uh, what the camera needs. Now, as you can see, the camera is on. Then we want to power the uh, the downscaler. Mia. Okay, so now the downscaler should be on as well. And in order to get a 4K signal from the A7S, you need to be in movie mode, which we are now. So once in movie mode, we should be able to get 
tight. Did that pass it? Yes. We are getting a, a 4K HDMI LGD Sony A7S. Let me zoom in a bit. And by the way, in order to get this, uh, because it took me a while at first, I need to go to HDMI settings and turn off TC output. Just turn it off. Um, and then everything else I think goes off, the red control and all of that. Which you don't really need because you'd be recording straight away from the um, uh, the Ninja Blade. So once you turn that off, you have a HDMI 4K output coming out of here, and then going into uh, the uh, downscaler. If you can see. Okay, sorry, I have to zoom out a bit. So. Then the signal will be going uh, into the downscaler, which I don't think you can see. Oh, there it is. So it's showing that it has a 4K signal coming out. And also the downscaler needs to be set to bypass um, down or down bypass. And that will allow you to, uh, the will allow the signal basically to be downscaled. Um, turning on the Ninja Blade now to begin. A signal. And there it is. So we are getting a signal. Uh, the image is already looking much crisper on the um, on the Ninja Blade with a lot more detail. Um, I think I've put a few videos um, at night and during the day of um, the video quality coming out of this and um, yeah basically it's um, I think it's a great setup to be honest and it took me a while to um, sort of to figure out all of this um, very light very portable I would uh, yeah I would so very easily and gladly work with this for hours also very versatile as you can see here for example you can change angles so you can be shooting that way or you can do it the other way around when where it's facing down and you'll be shooting um, from a higher perspective uh, really I'm very very glad with this and it's I haven't actually used it yet on an actual job which I'm hoping I will very soon um, but to be honest I'm, I'm I'm very optimistic about this, and I can I can see this being very uh, uh, useful and compact. By the way, I also left a hole uh, down here, so that I can well actually a couple of them, if you can see, which are about four inch uh, of length. Um, that can be that can very easily be um, attached to a tripod. Show you. Here, for example, I have a tripod head. This is a tiny tripod, so you wouldn't want to use that. So this goes into here, in here. And there. And holds in place. So um, I really did think it through and. Um, I hope that uh, it will help many of you go down this route. Um, okay, I'm just going to take it off now. Because um, I've, I've noticed there's, there's very little information about um, getting a 4K signal out of the Sony A7S. Um, and the Shogun is taking ages to come out. And honestly, I've given up on that, so I'm not gonna buy the Shogun because uh, even if one, when it does come out sorry that's my phone even when it does come out oh, it's going in the wrong moment uh, when it does come out I'm not gonna buy it because it's A it's too expensive and B 
it's not going to help um, a lot because I would have even when I'd be recording in 4K I would have to downscale it anyway in post and um, and I think this is doing a great great job downscaling it and keeping all the information um, and the Ninja Blade also um, provide me with the high quality ProRes uh, file so um, that's going to be definitely very useful and usable um, so yeah basically that's it uh, I wanted to share this and I'm very very excited about you starting to use it uh, let me know your thoughts uh, suggestions um, questions of course I'll be very happy to answer them and um, yeah I'll um, I'll send some more videos in the future if anything comes up Okay, bye.